how to test a fuel level sending unit, what you'll need, a voltmeter, a sending unit, and two alligator clips. Make note that you'll want to test the sending unit in the same position it will be in the tank. Most often, they'll be mounted upright, with the float moving up and down with the level of gasoline. If you test it sideways, you might get a false reading due to either the additional or reduced pressure on the resistance strip of the sending unit. Next up, connecting the wires to the sending unit. This sending unit has a signal post and the body of it is the ground. First, connect the white alligator clip to the positive lead on the voltmeter. Connect the other end of the positive lead to the signal post. Second, connect the yellow alligator clip to the negative lead, or the ground. Connect the ground to the body of the sending unit. Now, turn on the voltmeter to the horseshoe, or the ohms reading. Every sending unit varies. This particular sending unit is calibrated for 240 to 33 ohms. 240 ohms at empty and 33 ohms at full. Lower the float down and notice the resistance reading increases. If the resistance reading shows a number out of range, that sending unit is faulty. Depending on the ohm range of your sending unit, the resistance should be either a gradual increase or decrease, from empty to full or full to empty. In this case, as I go down, it reads OL, or open circuit. So this sending unit is faulty. If you have a steady reading from 240 to 33 ohms or another ohm range without breaks in it, your sending unit is working properly. That's how you test a resistance style fuel level sending unit. For more information on SpeedHut products, visit speedhut.com.